My work has taken me across the world and to different parts of India, documenting pristine ecosystems and their inhabitants. Today, I'm going to turn the lens closer home and tell you the story of a place that I grew up in. My name is Malaika Vaz and I'm a National Geographic explorer and wildlife filmmaker. And right now I'm on assignment for Nat Geo Traveller and Vivo to explore Goa's wildernesses. I'm heading on a road trip to explore the hidden secrets of Goa. My first stop is the incredible rainforests of the Western Ghats that are teeming with wildlife. This region is one of the most important biodiversity hotspots on our planet. And it's not just important from a wildlife and ecosystems perspective, but also for humans. Nearly 300 million people in India receive their water supply from rivers originating right here in the Western Ghats. Geologically older than the Himalayas, the wildlife in the Western Ghats has evolved over millennia and a walk through the forest helps you discover a magical world. You know, I'm so impressed by the stabilization on the Vivo X50 Pro. It's not just software stabilization, but an actual gimbal that's stabilizing the phone camera. And that's just perfect in a rainforest setting like this. But the wildlife here is not just limited to the lush forest. Up on this grassy plateau, we come across one of the most fascinating members of this rainforest. This saw-scaled viper right here is one of the coolest and also one of the most venomous snakes in all of the Western Ghats. And these laterite plateaus right behind me are the perfect habitat for this species. This prehistoric animal rubs its body together to create a distinct sizzling sound to ward off any danger. As I return to my camp, I find a curious visitor lurking in the room. I have a bronze-backed tree snake right here, one of the many species that you'll find in the Western Ghats. And this particular snake is an arboreal snake, which basically means that he spends a lot of time up in the canopy. You know, with snakes like these, it's really important to keep their habitat completely sacrosanct and pristine, because as soon as you start cutting the trees, they lose their habitat and they are the first to be impacted. Time to let them go back into the wild. As night falls, this forest comes alive. This is one of the many color morphs of the Malabar pit viper, known for its precision when striking prey. Not far from where the viper lies is a night frog defending its eggs from intruders. But at night, it's not just wildlife, but even the trees that come alive. Bioluminescence is a rare natural phenomena that makes living organisms glow in the dark. This gentle glow takes a little while for the human eye to register, but the extreme night vision mode on the X50 Pro allows me to capture this on my phone. Far from the charm of the rainforests lies the mystical realm of the mangroves. These old world forests are so incredibly valuable as barriers against the impacts of climate change and natural calamities. To me, adventure is made extra special when it's shared. And today I'm going to be joined by special little adventure buddy, my dog Mufasa. My biggest takeaway from this journey is that there's always an adventure awaiting you in your backyard. I can't help but think that Exploration means nothing if it doesn't kindle a fire to protect wildlife and wild spaces. Today, these mangroves, rainforests, and even coastlines that I've traveled to face many threats. And it is our responsibility to protect them against all odds. 
and there's no better time to protect these unexplored places than now.